Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you're new to this channel, welcome to the channel. I talk about fragrance related content, like first impressions, full in depth reviews. I do fragrance haul videos, top 10 lists, and I do free fragrance giveaways. So if you're new here, consider clicking that red subscribe button so you can learn more about fragrances and participate in giveaways. And make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements like this as well. Today we're talking about a new release from the House of Creed. I'm super excited to talk about this new Creed fragrance. It is called Creed Viking Cologne. So it is a 2021 release here. I have a partial bottle here. I have about left, about 15% left. I had 20% in here. I got it for about $80. I'll leave a link down below. I bought off somebody in a Facebook group that was selling decans and he had a bottle with the full presentation. I'm cool. I want to review it. He said, no worries. So he lives somewhere in Philadelphia. So I met up with him, took a picture, posted on Facebook. We had some fun. I talked a little bit about Viking and how much I love Viking. You guys know I love the original Viking, which I have right here. So I have the new one and I have the OG. The video right here, I'm gonna talk about my performance, how I feel about the fragrance, and if, if, if I like it, I love it, or I don't like it at all. Presentation. This is the bottle presentation. A little bit orangey-like than the original red, dark red, and it has Viking cologne, so you can tell the difference. The cap seems a little bit more tighter on it, and the box presentation a little bit orange, kind of like the cool counterfeit ones I saw back in the day they made for Viking. So it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, so 3.3 ounce, 100 ml bottle. Um, my batch code for this, if you guys really care, it is A9821P01. It's a batch code. I'll zoom in so you guys can see it later on in the video. Viking Cologne, we have Mandarin Orange, Pink Pepper, Bergamot Lemon. The mid we have Lavender, Geranium, Sage, Nutmeg, Rosemary. Top it off with the base, we have sandalwood, vetiver, cedar, abdanum, and patchouli. Spray this on my skin, because I'm wearing it for four days straight. This is my fourth day wearing it, so by the time you see the video, it'll be my fifth day, but nevertheless, here we go. All right, a couple sprays, I ain't got much left. <laughs> okay. So the openness fragrance is really fresh and citrus. So if you like fresh and clean type of scents, you're gonna to gravitate to liking a fragrance like this. The opening of this fragrance is very refreshing, citrusy on um, bergamot. Now, some people might get lemon. I know in the original Creed Viking, there was Sicilian lemon, there was bergamot, so you kind of get the aspect of it is a freshy fragrance. But they did take the mint out of this fragrance, which I don't understand why. It blows my mind to this day. I love mint. Don't mess with mint. Do not take it out of a DNA of a fragrance if it sells it. I don't understand it. I'm not going to go on a rant, but it is what it is. So once you get through that freshness, that first hour or so of the freshness with the citruses and lemon and the bergamot in the opening, you're going to really enjoy this fragrance when you smell it on your skin. But on a test strip, it doesn't really do it justice. So if you get a chance to go to boutique, spray this on skin. Forget the test strip. Just forget it. You need to spray it on your skin because it's not going to do it the justice that if it's going to smell better on your skin or worse on your skin. The middle of the fragrance. Okay, so the middle of the fragrance I get is that geranium and the rosemary. So And I get sage, but the, the geranium in this fragrance gives off a minty feel. Sometimes geranium with the patchouli can give off a minty feel in a fragrance. Um, but this here with that geranium gives it a minty cooling effect, but mint is not listed as a note in this fragrance. So I know some people say, well, Chris, is there mint in there? There's no mint in this fragrance at all. So if you like mint and you're upset about that, I, I feel this, I feel for you. It just, it sucks, but you do get a minty feel with the geranium. Now the rosemary comes into play just like the original Viking. You pick up that rose. It's light. It's not heavy as the original Creed Viking, the OG, but it's smoothed out. Um, with the geranium and the nutmeg, and uh, the, the sage comes in the full effect, which gives it a nice, well-rounded balance of a fragrance. Um, but I don't too much like the mint at all, honestly. I mean, I get a little bit hints of mint with the geranium, but I don't really like the mint at all. The mint of the fragrance at all, I apologize. Base of the fragrance. Okay, now we're getting to the end of the fragrance, more of the dry down. Okay, you pick up the sandalwood. In the fragrance, you definitely pick up sandwich, you definitely pick up the vetiver and the patchouli. So the dry down of this, of this fragrance gives you that DNA of the original Creed Viking. 
It's not a lot. It's very little bit, little bit of the DNA of the fragrance. So you do pick up that in the fragrance, but it's a light scent. So please keep an eye. When I talk about performance, you're gonna be like, well, Chris, how do you feel about it with the performance? It's, it's a little weak to me in my personal opinion, but like I said, this is on my personal opinion. When you get a bottle yourself or get a sample, you let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. Projection. So for me personally, I'm getting about an hour of projection. It's moderate, it's about half an arm's length. So like about half an arm's length, it doesn't project very loudly, but for the first hour you will get notice. Now I did about five sprays, so I was like, one, two, three, four, five on the first day I wore it. And that first hour, you do get a nice waft of the fragrance. After the first hour, it does settle back and back closer to the skin. So please keep that in mind, just like with fragrances like Creed Aventus, uh, Cologne, that first hour smells good, but then it does fade back to back on your skin. So it does dry up really soon. So please keep that in mind or it, goes away really, really fast, what I'm trying to say. The longevity of the fragrance. Okay, so for me personally, I get eight hours on my skin every time I've worn it for three days in a row, including today, makes four days. So four days straight, I've worn this and I've got eight hours. So for you personally, I feel like your estimate is gonna be between six and eight hours of this fragrance on your skin. It might get longer, but the average, what I'm feeling for this fragrance is about six to eight hours, which you're gonna get on your skin, which isn't too bad for a cologne, base type of a fragrance that they're calling Viking Cologne. Season occasion. So for me personally, I feel like this is gonna be a spring and summer scent. If you wanna wear it all year round, by all means, this could be a signature scent for some people that just wanna smell good um, and you're not in a lot of fragrances, but you wanna wear a fragrance that make you feel approachable, make you feel like a man, um, wanna wear something from the House of Creed, you want something new, you're tired of the other fragrances that Creed has, definitely, definitely check it out. Occasions for me personally, I feel like this could be a casual scent day to day. I wouldn't dress this up at all, not at all. But if you would like to, by all means, go ahead. But for me personally, I feel like there's other fragrances from the House of Creed that are better, more wearable for maybe a first date, um, a job interview, um, putting on your Sunday best outfit or putting your best foot forward type of a fragrance than this right here. Okay, ratings and final thoughts. Okay, so this is gonna be my opinion for ratings and final thoughts. If you don't like it, it is what it is. I frankly don't really care. Um, this fragrance here, I've worn it for four days. After the second day, I did not wanna wear it anymore. I was tired of it, I was frustrated with it, and I expect more from the House of Creed because man, they put out bangers and this is just not a banger for me. Um, rating for me, I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 10. Now, let me tell you why before you start to criticize me in the comment section. Okay, if you ever smelled Viking, I love this fragrance with a passion. You guys know how much I love Viking. To death. I, wanna, I want this fragrance in my grave. I want it sprayed in my casket all over, all over my body before I die. This is my fragrance of my life. I will battle anybody that talks about Creed. This is the best Creed out there. This is not. This is a fragrance that could have been a separate fragrance from the House of Creed and people would love it. It could be called like Creed Cologne, Creed Exclusive Fragrance, something simpler or Creed uh, Sport or maybe Creed Viking Sport. Don't take the Viking DNA and put Viking on this and expect to get wonders. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. Don't mess with a DNA that's already perfect. And what I mean by that is that when you smell these side by side, there are two different fragrances. You get a little bit of DNA of this in this, but this is like a manly, light, sporty, airy type of fragrance on my skin. Now, if you get better performance than me, great. Enjoy the fragrance. I'm letting you know from my perspective because I have a lot of Creed fragrances. And if you don't believe me, Viking, Himalaya, Aventus, Aventus Cologne, Silver Mountain Water, Virgin Island Water. So I do know a thing about Creed fragrances before somebody says, oh, you don't know about Creed. I know a lot about Creed. And I have a rep that I know personally that lets me know about new releases. What I'm trying to say here is that I expected more from this anticipated hype fragrance that I was let down. It was like you meet somebody, a superstar, like for instance, I like the superstar um, Ray from Star Wars. If I met her in real life, I would think she's awesome, cool, and then when I actually do meet her, I'm let down because she's ignorant, she doesn't care to talk to people, she don't care about her fans. I would feel upset if that's how she was when I, when I met her. So when I got this fragrance here, I was high hopes, I was ready to hype it up, I was ready to say go out and buy it, 
I, I, I can't tell you to go out and buy this. I can say maybe sample it. If you can, I'll leave links down below. Um, when it comes available, go to Boutique and spray it on your skin, but it doesn't do it for me. And I'm, I'm sad to give it this rating because I love Viking. You guys know me, I love Viking to the death. I will talk about it every video until I retire from YouTube or just quit altogether. So I'm just sad about that. At the end of the day, is Viking Cologne a good fragrance? Yes. Is it better than the OG? No. Just buy the OG or sample it. Maybe you don't like the OG. Then try this one right here. It's more lighter. The rose is toned down. The more citrus in the fragrance, there's minus the mint note that's not in the fragrance. There's sandalwood vetiver. that gives you that Creed Viking DNA. So definitely check this fragrance out here. Like I said, this is my own personal opinion because I love Viking, so I expect it to be more than what this is. But some people will probably like this more than Viking. So by all means, hey Creed, you put out a good release. I hope people like it, but me personally, I'm just going to wait and get it down the road. I'm not going to rush out and buy it because I already sampled it here and I'm going to let somebody else I know personally, another reviewer, try this out and see if he likes it. Um, that's pretty much it for my review. I didn't want to review this fragrance because that's so much I, don't, I didn't like it, but you guys want the review, so here it is. Cut and clean, right to the point, no BS. This bottle was not sent to me by Creed, so I keep it 100% on my channel. I don't have many sponsored videos. It is what it is. If you've cried Creed Viking, Cologne, leave a comment down below. If you try it, if you want to buy it, let me know. Uh, the person I bought this from bought it from overseas. So this is bottle was from the UK. So it's not available in the United States yet. From my Creed rep, she said it should be here maybe mid of May or the end of May or towards the fall. There's no Pacific date yet. But when it comes available, I'll do an updated video, let you guys know, or I'll do a post on Facebook or my Instagram. Thank you guys for watching another fragrance video. I'm sorry this video wasn't hyped up or a good review. I'm just upset and I'm very sad because I love Creed Viking and this just made me depressed. If you guys like this type of content, I hope you consider liking the video, clicking that red subscribe button and share your support. I would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next fragrance video coming up soon. Be safe out in the world. Wear your fragrances. Peace.